Blastoise in Pokemon Unite is one of the highest damage dealing characters in the game. On top of the fact that he is one of the tankiest characters in the game. I love Squirtle and let me tell you, they did my boy right here. He is so powerful, but you need to know how to play him because there's a lot of missed opportunity, a lot of power left on the field if you don't know how to properly use Blastoise. So in this guide here today for Pokemon Unite, we're going to talk about his skills, his stats, and how you need to use him to get all of his power out of him because he's ridiculous. Oh, oh God, I get dizzy just thinking about how strong he is. You know how Venusaur, okay, to give you some concept here, Venusaur's damage, his solar beam does about 75 to 7,600 damage to a substitute doll. Blastoise does more. He does way more and he's way thicker so let's just start getting into it here so you can see just how amazing blastoise is that he's he's so strong he's so strong people don't know how to use him yet but he's so strong so let's get into it here we'll go straight to level 15 so we can check out some of his early skills here we have water gun and we have skull bash water gun pushes enemies and it does about 1096 damage which is actually pretty bad in terms of damage for uh level 15 tier one skill and then he also has a skull bash and then skull bash will stun whoever it hits and it does 672 damage also very bad on damage something else to know about skull bash here is that it will go through targets and it will go through obstacles so you see how i'm gonna go right through ludicolo even though i stun him so you can hit multiple things here i bet you if i come over here i'll stun both of them see so keep that in mind early game you can go ahead and dash around pretty well now i know i know you squirtle fans out there like ooh hydro pump but i encourage you check out water spout i'm telling you man ch check out water spout your mind is going to be blown but let's just talk let's talk about water spout here so what water spout does is it does area of effect damage and everything within the area of effect is slowed and it does about six ticks worth 324 damage for a total of 1944 damage which is okay and it's not amazing and then let's go ahead and check out water spout plus which just increases the damage of water spout here which it'll increase the damage by about 14 percent to bring it to about 2214 damage a little bit more respectable oh god but you just just oh god you have no idea what's coming here guys let's take a look at his other skill here we have a rapid spin so a rapid spin does you spin around to become unstoppable Woo! and then you also can hit targets while you are spinning around but take a look at what this does what Rapid Spin does is it alters how Water Spout works, it alters how your basic attack works, and it alters how Hydro Pump works, making it absolutely disgusting. So you know how it was 2,214 damage before? Well, if we're rocking like this, suddenly that Water Spout goes up to 2,952 damage. And we're going to keep building on this. That's about power-up punch levels from Lucario, in case you're wondering. If you've ever been hit by a power-up punch, you know it hurts. And that's what Blastoise just did with just Water Spout. Now, let's combo that up where we go ahead and we're doing damage with Rapid Spin. Which, by the way, let's go ahead and take a look. Rapid Spin does about... 2,680 damage if you hit all the different ticks of Rapid Spin. Meaning that it does, what, about 10 different ticks? So, if you go ahead and do this math, you can suddenly be doing whoop, boop, 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 And by the end of your Rapid Spin, you're hitting 5,632 damage. Okay, now before we go even farther with that, trust me, it gets, it gets, oh my, it's like, I'm losing oxygen to my brain because I'm so excited about this. Let's talk about his basic attacks. So, his basic attacks, they do 292 damage, right? Pretty cool. And then they have their basic charge up of about four seconds is how long you have in between when you can do these. And then the super splooshy one at the end does 726 damage. So that's pretty typical for two basic attacks and then a build up powered attack. The boosted attack also goes ahead and slows enemies a little bit. And it says it does a little bit of continual damage over time, but I'm not seeing that on the data here. But <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at a rapid spin now and how it affects our basic attacks. So now we're doing 293 damage, but you'll notice we actually go down. We do 484 damage with our boosted attack here. So it actually goes down a little bit with your rapid spin. Also something you'll notice is that you don't see your boosted attack gauge while you're rapid spinning for some reason. Don't know why. But one cool part about rapid spin is you see how I have a boosted attack when I'm done. So you're going to get a nice 726 damage right at the end of your rapid spin. <laughs> but did you know? Did you know 
that you can rapid spin, water spout, and basic attack all at the same time for damage that's going to be. Let's take a peek at it. Suddenly, Blasty Boy here is doing 7,288 damage on a 10 second interval. Oh, but you thought I was done. I'm not done yet. It gets even crazier. It goes higher. Trust me, take a peek at this. So we're gonna make it so our move cooldowns are on and I want you to pay close attention here. Take a look. Now I'm gonna use water spout here. Actually, no, let's go over here. Take a look, water spout. Water spout has an eight second cooldown, right? Good to know. But did you know that you can cast water spout Start rapid spinning and then use water spout again immediately on top of the fact that you're basic attacking That results. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I have one of these psh, with my extra combo there that results in over 10,000 damage on the full combo of effects that you get from water spout and a rapid spin There's nothing in this game that can dish out 10,000 damage every 10 seconds nothing nothing on top of the fact that Blastoise here is thick. He has 9,800 HP. You know how much Snorlax has? 9,899, so he has just a little bit more. But he also has, Blastoise here has 599 defense and 420 special defense. That's more than Snorlax. He has about 3% more defense than Snorlax does and only 1% less health. So he's actually thicker and tankier than our boy Snorlax. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to mention, Blastoise has this one other thing going on <laughs> called Torment. It's his passive, and that makes it so that his attack and his special attack go up when he's below 50% health. And his attack goes up by 20%, so his basic attacks go up by 20%, and then his special attack goes up by 9%. And since he's such a thick boy with such big defense, he can manage that just fine. So, you know, 10,000 damage, I guess I lied. It goes even higher, so let's see. <laughs> so let's go and see what the full combo looks like here. Ba-bam, and then ba-bam, and then ba 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 disgusting and then finish it off and he does over <laughs> every 10 seconds blastoise can do over 11,000 damage to the substitute doll every 10 seconds and i'm not even using items oh and another couple of things you might not have noticed while we're going through all of this <laughs> is we have move cooldowns all right so i'm gonna go ahead and use water spout over here now pay attention to the cooldown timer Every boosted attack will bring the cooldowns down by a second. You see that, how it just jumps? Every boosted attack that Blastoise does reduces his cooldowns by a second. And this works on Squirtle, it works on Wartortle, it works on Blastoise. So that's another added effect of Blastoise that, again, you don't know unless you're really getting all these combos in. And just in case you weren't like, oh, wow, that's a lot of damage, in case you weren't convinced. Okay, here's Rapid Spin. Now, when you Water Spout, you might be like, oh, you're probably going to slow down, right? Nope, you go faster! <laughs> He's disgusting. He's a monster. He's a menace. I'm seeing a lot of people. It's day one. I'm seeing a lot of people play Blastoise, and they don't know all this stuff yet. Trust me. Once this word gets out on how to play Blastoise, watch out. He's going to be scary. I guarantee you a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, man, I love Hydro Pump. Mm -mm. Water Spout's where it's at because it's a psycho skill, and he's a psycho when he uses it. Now, Rapid Spin also changes your Hydro Pump, and we'll get into that. But now let's go ahead and talk about his other two skills here, Hydro Pump and then surf actually before we get into his other skills we have a new channel pokemon unite guides link will be in the description it's a whole channel dedicated to just pokemon unite stuff and i actually have an exclusive blastoise video over there that was from the first time we played blastoise on stream with viewers so if you want to go check that out over there i'd love to have you guys over there you'll be one of the first people to be over there we just made the channel within the last like week and a half and you'll get bragging rights for that we're pushing towards 1,000 subscribers, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys popped on over. But with that, let's continue with Blastoise here. So let's bring it back down to Earth here. We'll take a look at Hydro Pump. So Hydro Pump is interesting because what it does is it pushes enemies. But plus, and it pushes them the entire distance of the push. Now, Hydro Pump at level 15 does 2,022 damage, which is okay. Now, Hydro Pump plus 
does a little bit extra boosted damage. And looking at my notes here, you get a 19% buff to damage with Hydro Pump Plus. So that 2022 is going to go up to a 2397, which that's respectable. That's pretty good, especially since you could push people out of the way. But now you need to keep something in mind. You see that big number we're getting? Well, if you're just like a little bit away, suddenly that 2,397 drops down to about 1,600. You need to be very close to get the full power of Hydro Pump for whatever reason. That's the way they designed it. So if you're at a distance here, you're still going to get, you know, about that 1,600 damage. You could be all the way at the tippy tip here and you're still going to... Oh, wow. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Well, if you're at the very tippy tip, you're only doing 800 damage. But if you're pretty close, you'll still get 1,600. Either way, point being is that the closer you are with Hydro Pump, the stronger it is. It's okay. It's, it's a good crowd controller. But when you compare to what Water Spout could do with Rapid Spin, it doesn't even come close. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at Surf. So Surf's interesting. So what Surf does is it gives you this big wave that he rides around on. And while he's riding around on this big wave, he is immune to hindrances. You see how he's unstoppable there? Another thing that can happen after he goes off his wave is he can hop. And he can be like, whoop, whichever way you want him to go. So I can go forward a little bit farther. If I want to, I can go this and then I can pop back. I can go to the side. I can do all sorts of stuff. Now, I cannot, however, go over walls. No, let's do that. A little weird. Can't go over walls. Now, I've heard people say you can go over some things like Krussel's wallet. So I think, yeah, you can go over Krussel's wall. So that's a pretty neat little trick that Blastoise has here. I don't know if that's intentional because it looks like he gets a little hung up over there. But if he gets you like this, you can totally be like, bye. Something else to know about Surf here is it does. 1567 damage. A lot of cool things you can do with Surf. Now, some people thought that you could use Hydro Pump or Water Spout with Surf, especially since, you know, the icon doesn't go away, but it doesn't look like you can. I've tried this numerous times. I can tap in the crap out of the button. Nothing happens until after the skill is done. So, I don't know. I think Surf might be really good in a team sense since it has such a big area of effect. Like, if I go ahead and take a look at the bees here, you'll see that all of them get smushed. So, it's cool that all of them are getting hit, but, oh man. Everything gets hit when you're running Rapid Spin too, so... Let's go ahead and take a look at Hydro Pump and Rapid Spin together. So when you take a look at Hydro Pump with Rapid Spin, it's not anywhere near as exciting. Because you take a look here, I use Hydro Pump and that's all I get. You just get that one little Hydro Pump. And what's really interesting about that is that it only does 1320 damage. So if you go ahead and take a look at right here, reset this, it'll see 1320 damage. And now that 1320 damage is 1320 regardless if it's if it's hydro pump or hydro pump plus actually if you take a peek here i think i noticed something really interesting oh it's because it degrades it you see how i lose the plus on hydro pump and then the plus comes back i wonder if that's a bug i mean that explains why the damage doesn't go up when i have hydro pump plus because i guess it's technically not hydro pump plus while you're rapid spinning weird that definitely feels like an accident. But similar to Water Spout, if you use Hydro Pump and then start rapid spinning, you can use Hydro Pump again. But you're not getting that constant damage. Hydro Pump gets you like that 1320 damage when you use it during rapid spin. Water Spout gets you like 2900. So it's like not even kind of close. Water Spout outperforms Hydro Pump immensely. And now on to Blastoise's Unite move, which is called Hydro Typhoon. And it's a lot like Water Spout, frankly, when he's rapid spinning. So what he does is he goes whoosh, and he spins around. So during all that, he gets a shield, and he does damage to the enemy, and that damage is 3,368, which is pretty good for a Unite move. And you'll also notice that the enemy gets knocked way up into the sky. It's a very long knockup. So it's a very nice skill to set up everybody else for finishing the enemy team but it also just can do a lot of damage on its own oh my god did you ever see that this rock looks like a face <gasps> look at this rock doesn't it kind of look like a potato that's existentially screaming you see it don't you you see like the two eyes right here and then the little mouth <laughs> you'll look at this you'll never see this potato the same way again will you <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's like a meatball. And now on to items for Blastoise here. What's great about Blastoise is he can he can have pretty much any item he wants. Because he's he does everything. He does special attack, he does regular attack, and he does a lot of health. So you can run Buddy Barrier to complement the fact that he already gets a shield and make him just ridiculously thick and make him really hard to take down with his defense that he has. If you pick Muscle Band, I would totally be right there with you because he does so much basic attacking, especially with that rapid spin. Muscle Band can be really cool. 
especially since he attacks so fast. And then Energy Amp could be really good because his Unite move does a ton of damage. Energy Amplifier only kicks in for three seconds, but he does his damage within those three seconds. So Energy Amp could be really nice on him. I mean, you could also pick Focus Band just because he has so much health and so much defense. You're going to get a lot of value out of Focus Band. It's really hard to pick a wrong item on Blastoise here. You could go Wise Glasses to get a little bit more damage out of his Spin and his Spout. Again, I don't think you can pick a wrong item on him other than maybe the attack weight. I don't know if I'd go to attack weight on him. So really pick what you want. You could go score shield to take advantage of his big health pool and his big defense. Personally, what I'm going to run on him, at least for a little bit to try things out, is I'm probably going to run muscle band, buddy barrier, and then probably the wise glasses. But I'm going to be really torn between wise glasses and focus band. And then if I get cheeky, I'll try out the energy amp. Really do whatever you like because there isn't really a wrong item to throw on him. He's he's good at everything, which means you can complement everything. If you want to play games with me or other people in the community, we stream just about every single night on twitch.tv slash swingpoint. Link is in the description for that. Also, reminder to go check out that other channel we have, Pokemon Unite Guides. Link is in the description for that and probably in the top comment. Only Pokemon Unite stuff over there, nothing else. With that, thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you in the next video that we do around here.